gente, it's Jazzy, and I'm here with Mr. D Smoke. What are you about when none of your house believe you amount to something? What do you shout when shut is your mouth and words ain't allowed to function? What do you count when dollar amounts and poverty bound and all of your hounds are hollering time to get up, get it, get it, when is it ever enough? Mr. D Smoke, how you doing today? I'm doing excellent, and this is the first time I've been called Mr. D Smoke, so I feel special. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. I always want to, you know, use the term Mr. or Miss or Mrs. I just to show respect, you know. Many people don't know that you were a music and Spanish teacher yes. before you became a rapper, yes. right? Absolutely. What was your favorite thing about working with kids every day as an educator? Um, the thing about working with kids is every day is new, you know. Uh, a lot of jobs, you might give out a lot of energy, but you don't get it back. Whereas in teaching... If you show the kids a lot of love, then they're excited. They show you a lot of love. And, you know, you can have fun at doing what you do. And you learn from them just like they learn from you. So that's my favorite part. What was one of your funniest or most embarrassing moments as a teacher? Oh, man, it hurts that you asked. The funniest, most embarrassing moment as a teacher. Um, and I hate to admit this, but I'm going to be honest. Um, I was taking role one time. And uh, my stomach was just, it, it was hurting me a little bit. So I let one go. I passed gas in my class. <laughs> it wasn't loud though so nobody knew it was me but it was just it just didn't smell great and everybody was arguing about who it was and i just let them blame each other ew somebody farted right ugh you could have at least said excuse me if you smelt it you dealt it dang it wasn't me it was not me <laughs> and but in, on the inside i knew it was me and i was embarrassed but that's that was the funniest well as long as it wasn't loud though. it wasn't loud it, it wasn't loud but you know you know i feel like i didn't come clean i should have came clean and just like it was me but i didn't well you had to do what you had to do you know it's natural you know what it wasn't it's it, it's a part of life whoever did it just say excuse me and we're going to move on Okay, so I need these payers. You can have these chips back, girl. What are ways Adidas and Would You can help kids in your hometown of Englewood? And why is it so important to bridge that gap? Man, it's super important because um, the way education is set up now, so many, uh, there aren't as many programs to help teach kids how to access their creativity and teach kids how to, you know, create careers in the arts, you know, or, or even just make them aware of, different avenues of you know making a living doing something very creative so would you coming in and and asking those questions and seeing what those hidden talents are and helping kids build on those is super important you know uh, a lot of programs have been taken out of taken out of the schools you know from culinary arts wood shop you know they used to have mechanic classes back in the day um, some schools don't even have thriving music programs so for would you to be doing design and things like that that's super cutting edge and super important I think that's really amazing, and I can't believe how much like Would You really specializes like on different types of subjects and different things that can you know help kids notice like what they're most passionate about. Imagine if schools actually changed to keep up with the future. Imagine if creativity was actually taught because up until now it hasn't. The old school mentality doesn't fit today's curriculum. Kids can't explore creative careers today because the system needs to be reimagined. Adidas, the Iveen, and Young Academy in Pencil have come together to create opportunities for students to embrace creativity and see possibilities for their future. Focused on design, entrepreneurship, and technology. All at the heart of Los Angeles. Rethinking how we think. Rethinking Los Angeles. Well, it's super cool that you speak Spanish and even rap in Spanish. Super omito, rico, jugando ese juego with the chico. La salud es llave, vengo de grave principios. Hidrando my body, wake up and throw back a zico. How has being bilingual helped you connect and learn more about culture? Um, being bilingual has, it's, it's changed my whole life, to be honest. Um, it's not just it's not just a language it's an entire world that that opens up to you so to be able to step into a, a world that's completely separate from your own and to thrive and to be accepted and to engage with people um it's super it's super dope you know i, I have friends that don't speak english you know that means their whole entire family and their friends don't speak speak english on average and and it's just access to a whole new world and it 
it's humbling, but it's uplifting at the same time to have people with a completely different background than you. You know, it's actually really cool just to have, you know, different friends from different ethnicities and colors and, you know, different races. And even if they speak different languages, you probably pick up on those languages too. Para todos los niños del barrio que quieren ser como tú, ¿qué les dirías? Yo les diría que, um, que sigan lo que están haciendo, lo que, lo que quieren aprender, lo que quieren hacer en la vida. Sigan estudiando, sigan trabajando y, y tienen que creer en sí mismo, en su mismo. Y es importante saber que todo es posible. Y'all got it. You know, trust that, that inner voice. You know, I, I, I commend you for doing what you do because at some point you said, hey, I want to do this. And then you just started doing it. You didn't Thank say, you. I want to do it when I'm an adult. You started doing it and look at you, you thrive. And so um, whatever that is inside of y'all, go for it. And, and you got it. That's why it's there. Well, you heard him, guys, and thank you so much for your time. Thank it was you. such a pleasure. pleasure. Well, guys, I'm here with Englewood on... Be smoke. Yep. Until next time, Jazzlin' out!